an attacking contest. Let us hope it stays that way. Hughes. And McGrath able to apply the finishing touch. And that very nearly got away from Taconi. Seemed to see it a little bit late. It was well struck by Hughes. He used the gap in the middle. Boniek is all over the place. Fadeli. Vignola. Oh, that's a nice little trip. And Rossi, good save by Gary Bailey. Did really well because that was no more than five yards away and was well struck. It's a lovely trip in the first place. And this is a very different Juventus from the one we saw in the European Cup final. Last two against uh, Hamburg and here's Boniak, he's got away. And it's in. And the crowd are on their feet. Long ball down the middle. Battle all he could. Did hog. But Boniak did it one way as Bailey gained the other. It's a little unlucky, I think, because the ball seemed to be won. I think he takes it very quickly. Whether the ball was moving, I'm not sure. The referee allows play to continue, and here's Boniek. Duxbury watching. And still. And the header from Rossi, he claims, was turned away by the hand of Hogg. But Duxbury seemed to have Boniek there, and then lost him. There he lost him. No, I don't think there was a hand. Graham. And Whiteside, but he pushed his man. And in fact, it wasn't Whiteside, it was Hughes, the number 10, Mark Hughes. Whiteside, the substitute, wearing 12. It's Whiteside who got it away. And here's Rossi, what a good save! Brilliant save by Bailey. And they just didn't pick him up, the little fellow, as he came through. Patini again, almost nonchalant without looking, and the header was well directed, and the save was a fine one indeed. Warren, white side. Improvisation by Duxbury, which was effective. Hughes has to do the same. Oof. Alveston. Graham. Whiteside in the middle. So is McGrath. Took a long time to turn. Whiteside! 20 minutes left, and Whiteside has made it 1 1. McGrath taking his time to turn. Got a little bit of luck with the ricochet, and Whiteside hit in a tremendous left foot shot. Argument with Moses, who adjusts his shirt. Wilkins takes it. Here's Whiteside trying to turn. Duxbury. And the goalkeeper having to turn over from Hughes and McGrath together. A lot of good work again then by Whiteside. And the defenders were backing away to try and meet the challenge coming in behind them. Up by Shirea. Forward for Boniek by Platini. Another good save. He timed it superbly and Platini in the center circle puts his head in his hands. And Shirea thinks about it as well. Just Gentile and Hughes left forward. there and still there Got a deflection in his Rossi! Oh, how cruel! Just seconds remaining, 45 on the clock. Shirea worked well here, but the ball was deflected clear to Rossi. Benny did all that he could, but Rossi, the hero of the World Cup success, has surely taken Juventus through to the Cup Winners' Cup Final. United have a corner.
And the referee waving people away from behind the goal. Drapatoni whistling in his own style. Hog is forward. White side, surely that wasn't 10 yards away. The referee's going to have it taken again. He may well have given it for handball, but it doesn't really matter what he's given it for. United deserving of another chance. No, he's going to have the corner taken again. Still questionable whether Vignola is 10 yards. And the whistle goes for some pushing as fireworks explode in the area. The lights flash green. And the contest in favour of Juventus. The crowd can't wait for the final whistle. And United, who pulled themselves back into the game that seemed to be running away from them, in the end, are beaten in the dying seconds. From a goal by Rossi, the ball deflected to him and putting him clear. And An attacking contest. Let us hope it stays that way. Hughes. And McGrath able to apply the finishing touch. And that very nearly got away from Tacconi. Seemed to see it a little bit late. It was well struck by Hughes. He used the gap in the middle. Poniak was all over the place. Fadeli. Vignola, well, that's a nice little chip. And Rossi, good save by Gary Bailey. Did really well because that was no more than five yards away and was well struck. It's a lovely chip in the first place. And this is a very different Juventus from the one we saw in the European Cup final. And Whiteside, but he pushed his man. And in fact, it wasn't Whiteside, it was Hughes, the number 10, Mark Hughes. Whiteside, the substitute, wearing 12. It's Whiteside who got it away. And here's Rossi, what a good save, brilliant save by Bailey. And they just didn't pick him up, the little fellow, as he came through. Patini again, almost nonchalant without looking, and the header was well directed, and the save was a fine one indeed. Warren, white side. Off it against uh, Hamburg, and here's Boniak, he's got away. And it's in. Battle all he could, did Hogg, but Boniak slid it one way as Bailey came the other. It's a little unlucky, I think, because the ball seemed to be won. Matini takes it very quickly, whether the ball was moving, I'm not sure. But the referee allows play to continue, and here's Boniak, Duxbury watching. And still, and the header from Rossi, he claims, was turned away by the hand of Hogg. But Duxbury seemed to have Boniek there and then lost him. There he lost him. No, I don't think there was a hand. Graham. Of improvisation by Duxbury, which was effective. Hughes had to do the same. Oh. Alveston. Graham. White side in the middle. So is McGrath. Took a long time to turn. White side! 20 minutes left, and White side has made it 1 1. McGrath taking his time to turn. Got a little bit of luck with the ricochet, and White side hit in a tremendous left foot shot. Argument with Moses, who adjusts his shirt. Wilkins takes it. Here's White side trying to turn. Duxbury. And the goalkeeper having to turn over from Hughes and McGrath together. A lot of good work again then by Whiteside. And 
the defenders were backing away to try and meet the challenge coming in behind them. Out by Shirea. Forward for Boniek by Platini. Another good save. He timed it superbly and Platini in the centre circle puts his head in his hands. And Shirea thinks about it as well. Just Gentile and Hughes left forward. Shirea and still Shirea. Got a deflection and here's Rossi. Oh, how cruel. Just seconds remaining, 45 on the clock. Shirea worked well here, but the ball was deflected clear to Rossi. Benny did 